What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Are you going to do anything fun? Welcome back to Lingoni English. In this video, we're going to talk about be going to, to talk about future plans. Let's take a look. Tonight, I'm going to make a cake. Here, tonight is the future because right now is daytime. So, going to shows the future. Tonight, I'm going to make a cake. Joey and I are going to walk to the store soon, maybe in five or ten minutes. Joey and I are going to walk to the store soon. Michelle is going to buy a train ticket. Michelle has the plan in the future she will buy a train ticket. Michelle is going to buy a train ticket. So, how do you make or form the be going to structure? First, you take the subject and you conjugate the verb be to go with it. So, I am you are, she is, he is, and it is, we are, and they are. Then you just add going to plus the main verb. I am going to eat. You are going to sleep. She is going to call. He is going to drive. It is going to snow. We are going to cook. And they are going to work. Note that it is very common to say gonna instead of going to. But this is something that I text to my friends or I say when I'm talking. Sometimes I will say gonna at work, but gonna is informal. When I'm writing emails for work, I do not write gonna. We also contract the subject with the verb be. So, I am often becomes I'm. Let's listen to what these sentences sound like with contractions. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat. You're gonna sleep. You're gonna sleep. She's gonna call. She's gonna call. He's gonna drive. He's gonna drive. It's gonna snow. It's gonna snow. We're gonna cook. We're gonna cook. They're going to work. They're going to work. Let's do a little practice. I will give you a subject and a verb, and you can make a sentence with be going to. If you need to, you can pause or stop the video for some time to 
think. Let's go. He and sit. He is going to sit. Or he's going to sit. You can also mix these. So he's going to sit or he is going to sit. Next, you and see. You're going to see. You are going to see. You're going to see. Imagine that you're making plans with a friend. You might ask them, is it going to rain tomorrow? Or is it going to be sunny? Is it going to rain tomorrow? Or is it going to be sunny? Notice that in the question form, you say B plus the subject, then going to and the main verb. So is it going to rain tomorrow? Is it going to rain tomorrow? That's a question. But in the statement, it's the other way around. Yes, it is going to rain tomorrow. Let's look at some more questions. This will help. Are we going to need money? Are we going to need money? Are you going to take a shower? Are you going to take a shower? Is she going to go with you? Is she going to go with you? Are you going to have time? Are you going to have time? All right, now it's your turn. Make a question with he and start using going to. Is he going to start or is he going to start? Next, it and happen. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? All right, let's go back to the situation where you're making plans with a friend. You've asked them, is it going to rain tomorrow? And the answer is no. No, it's not going to rain tomorrow. It's not going to rain tomorrow. That's the negative form of be going to. Let's look at some more sentences. James is not going to write that email. James is not going to write that email. We are not going to talk about it. We are not going to talk about it. They are not going to play today. They are not going to play today. So how do you make a sentence negative? They are not going to play today. You place not in between be and going to. They are not going to play today. They are not going to play today. So we already know some ways to contract sentences. For example, we are going to talk can become we're going to talk. So the subject plus be can be contracted. We are, we're. But if you want to say we are not going to talk, 
there are two ways you can contract this. We already know we're not going to talk. We've already seen we are, so subject plus be. But you can also contract be plus not. So we aren't going to talk about it. We aren't going to talk about it. Be careful, you can only contract is and are plus not. When you have the I form, you cannot contract I'm not differently. You can't say I am or something like that. There's only one way to contract I am not, and it's I'm not. Let's look at the others. So we'll look at the two versions in the U form. So you aren't going to play and you're not going to play. We'll just look at the contraction of be and not in the rest of the forms. So she isn't going to play, he isn't going to play, and it isn't going to play. We aren't going to play, and they aren't going to play. All right, let's do one last practice where I give you a subject and a verb and you make a negative sentence with going to. Here we go. We lose. We are not going to lose. Or we're not gonna lose. Or we aren't gonna lose. Next, we have they and fall. They are not going to fall. Or they're not going to fall. Or they aren't going to fall. I go. I am not going to go. Or I'm not going to go. Remember that you cannot contract am and not. So you either say, I'm not going to go or I am not going to go. Now there you have it. How you use be going to to express future plans in English. To see the difference between will and be going to, you can check out my video right up here. Now, what are you going to do this weekend? What are you not going to do this weekend? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching Lingoni English. Don't forget to click on the button here to get exclusive access to resources including videos, worksheets, listening exercises, and more to improve your English. See you there.